I sat on my couch in front of my TV, staring intently at the men's wear catalogue, nervously eyeing the tall mannequin on the page. That suit, black, with a white undershirt and red tie, it made the mannequin look just like him, just like the man who'd been following me. It all started about a month ago. I was walking my dog in the park when he started to go crazy. He darted off into the nearby woods and I lost sight of him. After a few hours of searching, it was getting dark and decided to give up. He would probably come home, dogs always do. I walked back out into the park onto the cement path. It was about seven o'clock and the park was dimly lit by poorly maintained lampposts. That's when I saw him. Standing at the end of the path was a tall man in a suit. It was too dark to make out anything else. I didn't know what to make of it. He just stood there, motionless. I thought of approaching him, but my gut told me it was a bad idea. I decided that taking the back exit out of the park would be the best option. The image of the man left me feeling uneasy, but I convinced myself it was just a random stranger. Oh, how wrong I was. A few nights later, I was just about to go to bed, following my usual routine. I dropped my dirty dishes in the sink, locked the door, and went to the window to shut it. When I went to that window, I was horrified. On the other side of the street, the man was standing, motionless, staring across at my house. I quickly shut my window and pulled my curtains across. I ran to the phone to call the cops, reporting strange activity around my house. About half an hour later, two cops showed up and looked around. They found nothing and assured me no one was sneaking around. I didn't believe them. Nervously, I locked myself in my room that night. A week went by and my paranoia was getting the better of me. I constantly checked all my windows. I locked all my doors. No one was getting in and no one was getting out. I'd seen him a few times since I called the police and I didn't bother calling them again. This was a matter that they couldn't help me with. I felt like I was being watched constantly. I slept with the lights on. The noises outside were getting louder but I ignored them. Then it happened. I opened my eyes and he was standing no more than five feet from the end of my bed. I saw him. I saw his face, or lack thereof. He was tall and slender, wearing a black suit with a red tie. His hands weren't hands. They had tendrils hanging down where fingers should have been. And the face Oh, his face. There was nothing. It was blank. I immediately leapt out of my bed, screaming as he watched me. I crouched into a ball in the corner of the room and shut my eyes. I didn't want to open them. I couldn't see him again. I waited. When I opened my eyes, it was morning. And he was gone. The incident that occurred that night shook me to my core. I boarded up my doors and windows, grabbed my father's 12 gauge from the attic, and it brings me to now. I'm sitting here, looking through magazines and catalogues. I can see his reflection in the screen of my television. I know he's standing right behind me. I don't want to see him again. Oh, I don't want him looking at me anymore. You know, 
This shotgun is loaded. Maybe if I just put it in my mouth and pull the trigger. Yes. I'll do that. 